Hey, Steve Stein here, and I uh, just want to tell you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to show you, I'm not going to give you a complete rundown of how to play this because I don't even play it the same way every time I do it, but what I want to do is show you the key elements of being able to play a really nice sounding rendition of Silent Night. And basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using three different chords. We're going to be using uh, G, C, and D, okay? So those are the three chords that we're going to need. And what we want to do is combine picking with uh, chording and utilizing the melody of the song. So let me show you what I mean by that. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a G chord simply by going to the third fret of the sixth string. I'm gonna go up there with my middle finger. If you decide you wanna use some different fingers, that's perfectly fine, but I'll show you what I do here. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my ring finger on the second string on the third fret. I'm gonna pluck those two at the same time. Now again, the fingers that you use for finger picking might be different than the ones that I use, and that's okay too. So I'm gonna play these two together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the first string, but I'm not pressing on that at all. So I'm going. And then we're gonna go back to the second string. So we get this melody. And there's your beginning of Silent Night. And then we're gonna take that third finger off and play the second string along with the thumb on the sixth string as well. And you get the melody. Now what I do is I just fill in the spaces in between all of this with various finger picking. Now you wouldn't need to add anything if you didn't want to, you could just play. But if you wanted to, you could pick some of the other notes of the chord like these two strings are really nice. The point is you don't want to stay away from the strings that are creating the melody, because if I do this, then I'm stepping over the melody, you see? So I want to leave these two strings here out of the way when I'm just filling space. So these are nice ones just to pick do whatever you want with those. Then what we're going to do is go to a D chord, but instead of just going to it like this, we need a higher note. We need that melody. So we're going to go to fifth fret and then second fret. So what I'm going to do is make the D chord and I want to put my pinky out here on the fifth fret, but my pinky's too short. Now, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Uh, but I can't do that, so I'm going to play my first finger on the third string, second fret, my middle finger on the second string, third fret, so a second fret, third fret, and then my pinky's going to go out here onto the fifth fret of the first string. And again, all I really need is the fourth string and the first string. I'm going to play that twice. I'm going to play these two together, then this one alone, and then I'm going to go to the normal D and play these two strings again. So I have. Okay, now again, I can fill in between with these two strings right here. You see? So you're just using those middle two strings just to, to, to fill out the space if you choose to do so. If you don't, it's okay, it sounds just fine. Then I'm gonna to go to a G chord, but this time I'm gonna to go to it with all four fingers, doing a four finger G. And this is my melody. So it's. And I'm playing the sixth string along with the first one, then just this string, and then these two together at the end. So you're really doing two at the very beginning, you're plucking two strings at the very beginning, and then you're plucking two strings at the very end. Then the same thing here. And the same thing here. Okay, then what we're going to do is move on to the C chord, and the C chord, we need... So we're playing zero, zero, three, two, zero for our melody, and we've got the C chord in the back here. 
Now here's where it gets kind of tricky is because you don't have enough fingers. So when you go, I take my first finger and go up to that two. So these two are being played together, fifth string and first string, then alone, and then together on the two threes here. You'll see I've got my pinky down on the first string, third fret. And then I just go to the two and then the zero. And the reason I'm using my first finger is I want that fifth string to continue ringing out as best I can. See, so you can still hear that fifth string ringing out, which sounds kind of nice. So I've got zero, zero, three, two, zero. And I'm playing the fifth string with the first one here. And this one. Now we just go back to this one, the original G that we did. Then we go back to the C that we just did. So this is kind of nice. to the G. Then we're going to go up to the D. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to go back to that same D, but we're not going down. We're going to go. And we're heading all the way up to the eight here. And again, you could pluck the fourth string along with that. Then you're going to come back down and play five and two. So when you move up to that eight, maybe just leave space there. And just come down, play those two, the five and the two. Okay, then you're gonna go to a G and you want, this is your melody, the first string, third fret. And then we're gonna go up, and we're gonna make the, a G chord here, playing seven, eight, and seven. Looks like a D, but it sounds like a G up here, okay? So I'm going. Okay. And there I'm plucking the sixth string. And there I'm plucking actually the D along with that. Then you're gonna come back down to the G and you're gonna play. So I got this four finger G, I'm playing this. D chord, and I'm going to play the fourth string and the second string, and then I'm going to play one on the second string, two on the third string, and then I want to go back to a G, and I'm going to play the third string open. Okay, so again, the beauty of video is you can keep rewinding it as much as you need to, to kind of put all the pieces in place. And what I would suggest to you is start with just what we'll call the skeleton, which is just trying to get used to making the melody. Here comes your D. Then your G. Then your C. The G. Back to the C. G, and then you got your D with that slide up to the eighth fret or that movement up to the eighth fret. That's your five two, and then G, and there I'm just making the D shape all the way on the seventh and eighth frets. And I'm playing the first string and the fourth string. Then I'm coming back down to G and I'm gonna play which is three, three, zero. D. There's my one, two, and then G. Using the third string and the sixth string. Okay, and just start by building that outer skeletal shell of that. And 
so on. And as you get more comfortable with it, then you could start adding in small embellishments if you choose to. Again, there's no right or wrong. You're, you're just playing the melody and adding whatever it is that you like inside there. So hopefully that gives you a little something to practice over the Christmas vacation. Uh, you know, don't worry about stressing out over it and doing it exactly how I'm doing it and all that sort of thing. Just have some fun with it and put it together a little bit. Uh, and take your time. And of course, like I said, rewind the video as much as you need to, to kind of learn what the parts are. And again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.